Hey guys, a few of you have been complaining about a uh, issue that I've seen uh, in 2017 version of Visual Studio. Uh, I've been able to see what you guys are seeing and I just want to give you a real quick walk around uh, for this problem. Now the problem is that the console window is not staying open or whenever you create a project it's uh, it's it's a little different from what's uh, shown in the video. So I went ahead and I grabbed uh, 2017. Um, I usually ended up using 2013 or 15 for the uh, class, but I went ahead and grabbed 2017 just so that I can go ahead and walk through the same uh, issue here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop down the box for a new project. I'm going to go to File New Project. Okay, and then the wizard comes up here. Now you should have the Visual C++ uh, portion installed. Sometimes when this installs, it does not give you any of the languages. Now if that be the case, you can go online and then select the packages that you're missing here in the Visual C++ uh, section. These should be installed though coming uh, right from the installer um, when, you're, when you're first setting this up. Um, you don't need all the game development and all that other stuff uh, when you're installing it. There's a lot of checkboxes that you can check and this program can get really big if you keep checking boxes. Uh, so you can only grab what you need um, before it starts getting to be a strain on, on hard drive space. So uh, Visual C++ is what we're going to go underneath. Okay, And then uh, the options are actually already here. There's console application which you might actually be tempted to go ahead and uh, click because that looks very much like what uh, the instructional video was going. But in 2017, they switched some things up. You no longer have the console uh, wizard that you can go through to select console application and then select as an empty project. So one way that you can approach this here is you can make an empty project, name your project. I'm just going to keep it as uh, project one uh, on, on this machine here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I have an empty project uh, and what I can do is I can go underneath source files, right click, add new item or control shift A if you're on a Windows environment here. Okay, then underneath Visual C++, I'm going to go ahead and add a source file, a CPP file, and then this is the file that I would name, you know, my first name, last name, assignment, like this, uh, I'll probably use camel case, that would be better. Assignment one dot cpp. Here we go. All right, now this would be my main file. This is uh, the file that's known in this class as the file that contains the main function. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just paste some clipboard code here. Um, this is a template for just printing out the word hello. Okay, so this is the problem. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control F5 and console window opens and then immediately closes. Now there's a couple workarounds that you can, you can use for this. Um, some of you might be using the uh, system pause method, which I think is like uh, uh, this here. And the system pause method will cause the console to hold open. Um, all it is is it's as if you were to go into a console um, and that's the same thing as uh, typing the word pause into a, a, a command prompt. Uh, so because it's the same thing, that's able to hold this window open. Now that's not the proper way to do this. Um, I would not want to have this in the code that you turn in. This is something that you can use for debugging purposes, that's fine. But if you ever turn it in, please either comment this out or simply remove it. Uh, here's a little bit more proper way to go about this. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to project and we're going to modify what's called the linker. This is a little bit more advanced but it's a proper way to do it. We're going to go to the project name properties um, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of decollapse these here so that way you can uh, you can see from the from the beginning. So we're going to we're going to go down to the portion here called linker. Open this up. Then we're going to find system. 
system is underneath linker here. Okay, so once we go underneath uh, system, you're going to see this whole portion uh, set up here in this like grid-like fashion. The very top one, subsystem. You want to drop this box down to console, subsystem console. Okay, and we'll go ahead and click apply. Now again, I have nothing here to hold this console open. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control F5. And now the console window will stay open. So here's the problem. The problem is, is that that linker setting is just set for this, for this project. So if you create another project, you'll want to make sure and go in and check that this subsystem console is selected from this drop down arrow. Now this drop down arrow doesn't appear until you click on here, so don't you know don't freak out and say ah, I don't have an arrow. Uh, you don't type this. You just simply open this up and select it. Console. That's what you're after. Okay. So that will be a way of properly going through and modifying the uh, uh, property uh, project for this. So I hope that helps, and I'll go ahead and uh, uh, push this up as an announcement. And I'll keep this going for future reference as well. All right. Thank you, guys.